So who lives in a house like this? Let's have a look at the clues. The all-white furniture. Two big clubs. A striking pose. The celebratory champagne. A model and a Ferrari. The family resemblance. And is this the last chance saloon? It's over to you. As a footballer, obviously we're getting paid a lot of money and you can't always enjoy what you've got the way the average man could. You know, on going on holidays and going with your mates and getting drunk and you can't do what you want when you want. So uh, there's not a lot of other things that you can spend your money on. I think the, you end up spending your money on your, your house, your place or, your, or cars. And, uh, I beg your pardon? Oh, your girlfriend. Was a shout from the distance. More often than not on cars, though. <laughs> <laughs> You've not got a bad car, have you? Oh, it's not bad, yeah. Um, I've gone through the ranges, you know, I've had, I've had the bad cars when I, when I started out as a, as a young footballer. And um, I've gone through every uh, sort of uh, footballer's car. Of, Escort convertible, BMW convertible, Porsche convertible, Mercedes convertible, and uh, the Ferrari convertible is is the latest one. Although I've moved on from that now and got a, a bigger Ferrari, which is uh, probably top of the range in a in a footballer's car. Really, I enjoy driving it, but you know, people come up to me and say, "Well, how many cylinders has it got?" and all that, and I'm like, "Well, I don't know. You know, I know it's a nice car. It drives well. I enjoy driving a nice car." End of story, really. You don't look for finance deals in HP, I presume? No. <laughs> I've had all that in my life, you know, but um, luckily for me that I don't have to do that at the moment. What about this place? What, what, have you done much to it or is this as you found it? Not a lot, really, no. It, um, this is very, very much how it was when I moved into it and I don't think it's until we moved back to London and uh, we've, we've got a few ideas between us and how we'd like our, our house eventually, but... Um, there's, there's no point in doing anything to it when we don't know how long we're going to be here. So just wait till we get our place in London and make that look nice and homely the way we want it. Mm. So like domestically? Really good, actually. He doesn't um, he doesn't like to do anything, as in you know hoovering and all that sort of stuff. We have we have people to do that because <laughs> I don't like doing it either, um, unless I really have to. But he's really tidy, actually. He's really tidy and he makes really good pancakes, <laughs> so uh, I can't complain. When Teddy signed after Eric's departure, it seemed only a matter of time before success would follow. But when United failed to register that first season, Big Teddy knew he was in for some fearful hammer. There's many a footballer that goes through their career without winning medals. You know. It's just that I left Tottenham and um, the Arsenal supporters latched onto that and what with them winning everything the, the year before. <laughs> You know, they made it a big thing. It, it used to make me laugh that I'd switch on the TV maybe to watch Arsenal play against, I, I don't know, Newcastle. And uh, Bergkamp or Overmars would be straight in their stuff and the way they do it so well as well. And all the Arsenal crowd could sing about it was old Teddy Teddy went to Man United and didn't win a lot. Nice to uh, rub it in the face of you Arsenal fans there, wasn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, I've got a few friends as Arsenal fans and... Uh, it's always nice to just mention the, the treble here and there, you know, <laughs> just in mid-conversation. Mm, just stops them, you know, in full flow. Have you had an interesting football? Who have you supported over the years, whoever he's played for? Um, no, I've been a Tottenham supporter. Um, and she still is. And I still she? am. <laughs> but I don't sing the songs, <laughs> which I think is very... We have quite a bit of banter about the situation, you know, with... Um, we know the team is playing very well and the goals are going in and uh, you know we just look at each other if things aren't quite going right and it's like what do you think is it me or you today you know are you going on are you going to try and rescue the team or is it me or you know, so there's a little bit of banter even on the on the bench it's funny isn't it the two european cup final scorers still sat on the bench it's a tough job you know it's a tough score and um, they're, they're doing the business they're scoring goals they're up the top of the uh, goal scoring charts again and uh, Man United are flying high, so um, you can't have any, any grumbles about that. Would it be your wish to stay here? Um, I have pros and cons about that situation, but um, some days I wish that, some days I don't. And 
it's, it's a funny situation. I mean, you want to feel wanted at any club. So um, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Whatever happens, Teddy secured his own special place in Old Trafford history. After all, he went to Man United and he won the lot. It brought tears to my eyes when we came down uh, Dean's Gate. It, it was a good enough turnout anyway, all the way to uh, Manchester City Centre. But when we actually got there and saw the amount of people that were there, it really was overwhelming and uh, it will live with me forever. The good thing is now I've actually managed to stop him sleeping in his medals. Um, <laughs> He doesn't actually have to wear them to bed anymore, <laughs> which is which is one good thing, I suppose. Yeah, so you think. <laughs> you don't check down there. <laughs> <laughs> jingle, jingle.